What's going on guys? F32 Mick here. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but you know, look at this. Coming back to an E30 M3 next to me. But yeah, thanks for tuning in to the channel once again. Um, so today I'm down at DNA Auto House um, with Sonny. So you've probably seen Sonny on the channel. He's got the purple uh, 530. He used to have the blue M135i as well. So he was invited down to DNA um, and they obviously said that I'm allowed to come. So big shout out to them uh, for letting me actually come down and have a look at their cars. Um, I've already had a look around already and there are some amazing cars here, some really, really special ones. So what I'll do for you guys is just take you on the tour and just show you what's about. Yes guys, so let's start with the first car here. <laughs> and I'm only joking, obviously it's a little kid's car, a little Porsche. But yeah, the first car here is a stunning, nice, simple Golf R. Just an all black, just looks clean as hell. I'm not uh, quite sure what this is running, if it's stuck or not, but it just looks very, very clean. So. I've never seen that uh, combo as well. It's a bit strange. I do like it though, and the uh, extra seats. I've never noticed they've got like a carbon fiber pattern on. But yeah, nice clean car. You can see in there. Now this, this is a bit of me. This is beautiful. So it's an M140 uh, finished in Melbourne red with the black bonnet. Now this car is actually running 480 bhp. I don't know what's actually been done to it to make it uh, run that much power. Um, obviously a map, it could be, you know, some internals, but I'm not quite sure. But this is like, wow. Yeah, if I had an M140, this is exactly how it would look. I'd definitely, definitely get it in Melbourne red as well. Only thing I'll change on this car um, is the colour of the rims. I'd stick with the same style, I forgot what they are, um, but they're, I believe they're the M Performance rims, what well, a variant of them. But I'd have them in like a bronzy gold colour just to obviously contrast the red. But it's really, really, really nice. And let's take you around. It's got the obviously sweeping indicators like the Audi style mirror caps. You can have a look in there. It's got a nice, nice Alcantara wheel there, um, with like the German stitching, and it's got a purple 12 o'clock center stripe as well. Interior, pretty, pretty nice. Really, really good stance as well. It's beautiful. But yeah, and performance tips, carbon fiber tips on there. Nice diffuser and an accident spoiler just to complement the rear end and then look what we have here c63 the og the 6.2 liter absolute beast these cars one of the best sounding cars of all time in my opinion this example is nice and clean and it's well specced as well as you can see that there it's just beautiful then you've got a normal um, E-Class. These do look quite clean, I can't lie, can't lie. And with Mercs as well, 
they always go to town with the interior and like the entertainment system as well. If it focuses, if it focuses, no. <laughs> Well, look at that. An RS. Yeah, nice little wing on this as well. Do like that. And here's Captain Cabri. And there he is. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, the video's coming. But yeah, I'm not going to go into this at all. Wait for the video. This RS5 in Nardo Grey as well. Absolutely amazing, and these rims. It's obviously got a black honeycomb grill with the Maxton front splitter. These rims, I don't know what they are. Oh, bloody hell! These spiry wheels. So yeah, these cost an absolute bomb. <laughs> really, really nice. Really nice. Really nice car. Beautiful stance. Some special stuff in here where well, I shot my intro, but I'll come back to that. Sam's car again, my car. Then we've got a C63 S here. These, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a BMW guy, but these just sound so beastly. I love them, absolutely love them. I finished in all black once again. One thing I hate about the Mercedes rims is this stupid silver lip that goes around. I, I absolutely hate it. But you know, a lot of people that do have these cars, they do delete that. Yeah, really nice as well. It looks like a nice place to sit in. Blacked out badges. Nice, next to my car. And then look at this. This is absolutely stunning. Wow, just wow. I've never ever seen an M3. <laughs> just, oh, or an M4, sorry. This car is wrapped as well, so, but it, it just looks, it, oh, it looks amazing. It looks like a proper paint job, an individual one. Now, this one, Oh God, it's even got the uh, LED race wheel as well, the M Performance one. Obviously carbon roof, the standard competition rims as it's competition. And then the calipers have been painted as well. I forgot the name of the color. LCI model as it's a competition. You got this X4, well X5, sorry, uh, 40D. And there's this, it's the S63, so it's an actual AMG. So look at that. One thing BMW need to adopt is this, where, you know, the back window comes down. It would be so beneficial in my car. But yeah, that's a nice, nice interior there. Really nice. And you've got this Focus RS. All the Maxton bits, so uh, front splitter. It's got this uh, hood on there. I don't know what style I've not cleared up before. It looks nice. Tinted headlights. Get the brumbles as standard. Maxton side, side skirt extensions. Is it open? Yep. Really clean. Really clean car. Really nice. Especially for a Ford as well. I like the rear end of this as well. <laughs> Them clear tail lights really, really do set the car off. And that diffuser looks so evil. And then I did walk past this, but I'll show you guys. So this is uh, an M235i. Uh, it's got the M Performance uh, front splitter on there. Let's go around to it. Now with this car, which I really, really like, I really think people should do it. It's got the quad tips and it looks really, really nice. Really loving it. Now uh, these quad tips are actually Armatrix ones. As you can see, well the whole exhaust system, sorry, is Armatrix, as you can see. 
there's no fake we going on there really really good really good and then this absolute beast c63 wagon so it's the same as the one that i showed you not long ago so the en engine wise obviously um this is obviously the wagon well that's what the well merc fanboys call their estates really really do love these classic mini there uh, MX-5, Overfinch Range Rover and we've got this nice, just clean looking silver M140 really really clean this is, yeah, this is all stock it's completely stock car this or maybe not actually, maybe not <laughs> seen some, some form of a performance brand so most likely going to be mapped up then and then we've got this one here same colour as mine so alpine white this one does look good with those uh, performance rims once again really am a fan of them really am one thing I'm not a fan of is uh, the silver mirrors that the M light comes M lights always come in so we'd like the G series model they've gone to like a, a bronzy like I can't, I can't even call it gold but like a bronzy colour I really think it looks good and then there's this really nice M240 another M140 and my guilty pleasure the Hyundai i30 and I really really need to have a go in one of these really do they sound good, they look good. Manual as well. Don't know if it's open. No, it's locked. But yeah, really, really nice car. Now, what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, look at that front end. Oh, I nearly forgot this as well. This is beautiful. I don't know exactly what they're doing with this, but I think they are going to uh, fully restore it. But yeah, it's looking, I'd, oh, I'd really, really want one of these. Really would love one of these. Nice, nice car. This one is open. Obviously, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Really nice. So yeah, guys, um, what I'm going to do is just go back into uh, the area where I shot the intro and just show you... Um, Two special cars yes guys so here is number one of the special cars now I don't even need to introduce this e30 m3 absolute classic any BMW head will just know about this car it is wow amazing so this car has obviously been built I think it's around 20 I think it's around a 25k build look at this full cage full cage in the car bucket seats harnesses manual gearbox that's all that's all you need in the car this wheel actually feels so nice as well it's full alcantara nice little sparkle wheel there but yeah this is fully 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 stripped out so yeah no headliner nothing fire extinguisher down there Amazing, amazing car. I can't even sit in this. <laughs> I physically can't get in. The older cars just, oh, I just love them. And this is what I love about it so much, that, that wing, it's amazing. Ooh. And look at that. I love that rear end. I'll get back onto uh, this car. And then this, this is the second special car. So this is the last Motec edition uh, M140. Um, it's actually previously owned by um, Tony, Tony Lewis from uh, TRL Deals. So anyone in the BMW community would know exactly who that is. This, this actual car, <laughs> 
is the most expensive uh, M140 on the market at this point as well. It is fully, fully loaded. If you know, if you know TRO, you know exactly what he does, what he's about. Just look at this. Obviously, oh yeah, let me just explain everything. So, you obviously get the extra power, uh, Maxton, front splitter, the grills, sunroof, the auto gearbox in this case, you can't really see it in, but those paddles, if you can see them just there, they look really, really good there. Maxton side skirts, let me see if I can get around here. Maxton uh, diffuser, and then you've got the Remus tailpipes there. Really, really clean car. Plus, you obviously get the uh, Motec stand to it as well. So, I can't remember the brand of the springs. I think, uh, I think it's H and R. Don't quote me on that one. But you get the drop. You get spacers as well. And look at that. Adaptive LED headlights. Really, really good. Really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have another uh, just look around. Soak up all the cars and I'll get back to you guys. Yes guys, so just gonna quickly uh, here to the cars. So this 235i with the Armatrix in and the red M140, the one with 408 brake. So see this one first and then we'll hear the M140. <laughs> guys so this car's actually just been picked up uh, congratulations to the new owner it's amazing amazing car like I said look at those rims absolutely beautiful and then look at that interior beautiful beautiful car stunning color as well look look how fresh that is look how fresh that is it's even got the sticker on the side Go. Beautiful car, beautiful, and uh, that is the lucky owner. <laughs> Congratulations! Thanks, man. Congratulations! Thank you. Beautiful car. Thank you. Very excited. Yeah. <laughs> Planning to do anything to it? Stage one remap, and then I'm going to leave it at that because I'm not brave enough to do the rest. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll that, see what I'll see how I feel. Stage one is all you need to do to these. I can't lie, yeah. cannot lie. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful car. Congratulations Thank once you. again. Thanks. You smashed Thank it. You. No worries. Can you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yes, guys. So. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the video here now. So thank you so much to the guys at uh, DNA Auto House. Amazing, amazing hospitality. And you know, as you can see, amazing, amazing cars. Um, but yeah, I've had really, really great experience. I've seen some lovely, lovely BMWs and Mercedes as well, along with the RS5 in the corner. Um, obviously, there's my car. Give you another quick once over, and uh, Sunny, and this is uh, one of the owners as well. Um, so okay? yeah, thanks, thanks for you know inviting no us down, having no us. Good seeing you guys. Yeah, yeah, beautiful stock as well. Cheers, beautiful stock. 
But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video.